Essentia Health announced today that its new hospital building is substantially complete, marking a major milestone for the project. Contractor Makeup Construction will transfer control of the building to Essentia as it waits for a certificate of occupation from the city. Local media were given a tour of the building this morning. We're really excited to have this project reach substantial completion. You know, really proud of all the teams working on the project, um, our trade partners, our internal staff, um, the community. Um, to bring this project in on time and on budget is a great feat, especially through a pandemic. Um, so we've we've reached substantial completion on the project, which means you know doesn't mean the contractors are 100% done yet, but we're very close. We're we're getting everything wrapped up, our punch list items and a few minor other um, parts and pieces put together until we get our certificate of occupancy. We are reusing a lot of things from the legacy St. Mary's. Um, however, those will come over closer to first patient day or during the move. Um, so all the things that are coming in today are new items. Hospitals are amongst the hardest types of buildings to build. You look around these spaces and, and what you're seeing is, is the finishes on the walls. Most of the complexity you never see is public. Most of that's happening in mechanical rooms and all the systems that go in, hundreds of systems that go in to these buildings to make them safe. So as of this week, we are no more hard hats in the building. And uh, at the end of March, we're going to be pulling some of the barriers in around the perimeter of the building. So, uh, you know, 4th Avenue will reopen, um, some of the lanes up on, down on uh, Superior Street and 2nd will open as well. But right now, we still have a lot of truck traffic, even with the loading of the building. If you happen to drive by 1st, you'll actually see there's a temporary loading dock uh, that's built on 1st Street right now. 1st Street will remain closed um, until June, end of June. End of June. Um, and that's because that's where trucks are coming through and truck traffic. So we still need to keep people safe in those zones. There will still be a lot of vehicle traffic and unloading um, of everything that has to come into the building. We've been in operational readiness. We've been thinking about these, these workflows. Now we're in the activation phase. So the building gets loaded with uh, furniture and equipment. And as Dan can speak to it more than I can, but a lot of that equipment needs to be calibrated um, so that it's ready on, on day one. Then the staff will come in and get not only tours, but be able to work on the floor and say, you know, how do I enter the room? Where do I foam my hands? How do I care for the patient in the room? How do I leave the room, uh, clean my hands? Uh, so it's, it's a really new, exciting way of, 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 of working. Uh, the move sequence, we're working with a, a company called Healthcare Relocations, and they've moved over 500 hospitals, and they've been consulting with us in all this transition period. And the move process is a two-week process, and our consultant likes to say that the patient has uh, breakfast in the Legacy Hospital and lunch in the new hospital. So it's well orchestrated, safe, uh, healthcare providers with the patients when they're transferred over. Uh, so it's, it's, it's well thought out before we go in into the new building. There's a lot of work left to do. It's not over yet, but now it's the exciting time. <laughs>